If you are familiar with Bethesda, you know their games are filled with errors and bugs that range from misspellings to odd NPC behavior to quest breaks. This video will remedy many of the issues that come pre-packaged with Fallout 3. It may not fix every issue, but it's a hell of a place to start. Like the previous video, today's is broken down into three categories. Mandatory mods. These mods are needed to get the most that we can out of Fallout 3. Recommended mods. These are not necessary to enjoy the game or this series, but if you don't install them, there is no guarantee that the patches we create at the end of the series will work properly for you. Those patches will range from mod cohesiveness to performance boosting. And finally, preference. These mods will not affect this series at all. I simply prefer them to the vanilla game, and it's completely up to you whether or not to install them. Ready? Let's get to it. Fallout Stutter Remover prevents or mitigates a number of issues related to stutter and frame drop rates. Without this mod, the game engine syncs the entire game to 64Hz or 64 frames per second. This causes 4 frames to skip every second and creates what we perceive as micro stutter, most noticeably when moving horizontally. Among other issues, this is what FSR combats. Navigate to the official Fallout Stutter Remover page. Open files. Windows 10 users download the FSR 4136 main file. At the time of this video, with the most up-to-date OS build, FSR works perfectly for me. Windows 7 and 8 users should download the FSR WIP 4126. 4136 seems to not work at all for these systems, as has been reported by a lot of people. Feel free to try both versions, one at a time. It's not hard to tell if it's working or not. Smooth gameplay versus second after second stutter. During installation, an Install Mods window will open. Right-click the Data option with the checkbox next to it and select Set Data Directory. Select OK. Activate FSR in the left pane. Right-click the mod and select Open in Explorer. Open the Foes folder and then Plugins. Delete the any file. Leave the window open. Navigate to the official Fallout 3 My Way Resources page on Nexus. Open Files. Download Roy's FSR any file. Open the archive that is downloaded. Drag and drop the INI into the Stutter Remover's plugin folder that we left open a moment ago. A huge thanks to Roy Batty for these settings. I've never felt the game run so smoothly. Created for Fallout New Vegas, but compatible for Fallout 3, NVAC implements structured exception handling to reduce crashes for various reasons, including one regarding a Windows 10 update. It even provides a minor performance boost. Navigate to the official NVAC New Vegas Anti-Crash page. Open Files. Download the main file. Install as normal, then activate it in the left pane. Double-click the mod and open the File Tree tab. If the first folder that you see is titled NVSE, right-click it and rename it Foes. Close the window. These updated Vorbis library files help to optimize the game's audio decoding process. It fixes a memory leak related to audio, it fixes stuttering related to sounds and radio, and it boosts performance while reducing the strain on your CPU. Navigate to the OGG Vorbis Libraries mod page on New Vegas Nexus. Open Files. Download the most recent file. Open the archive that is downloaded. In the second window, navigate to and open the game folder. Create a new folder within and title it something similar to Original Vorbis DLLs. Still in the game folder, locate and select the lib Vorbis DLL and the lib Vorbis file DLL. Drag and drop them into the original Vorbis DLLs folder that we just made. Select all three files from the OGG archive, drag and drop them into the game folder. This mod is a compilation of vanilla game fixes from various authors. At the time of this video, the unofficial patch is still being worked on, and I suggest that you keep it up to date on new playthroughs. Thanks to Roy Batty, I got to sit in on and follow along with him during the final nav mesh fixing session of the patch. After that modding session concluded, the updated plugin was sent to the patch page's admin so that it could be uploaded and allow us to not have to fix those underlying issues ourselves in this series. Navigate to the official, updated, unofficial Fallout 3 patch page. Open files. Download the main file's mod manager version, install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. If the installation hangs for a moment, just let it sit, and it should finish for you shortly. 
Big Pete is a Fallout 3 mod author who created two wonderful mods. They are small in size but huge in character. The first mod is Intro Street Bus in DuPont Alignment. This mod adds the street and bus from the game's intro movie into the game. It also aligns the rear of the GNR building with DuPont Circle, as well as properly align DuPont Circle on the game map. The second mod is Teaser Trailer Ruin. TTR adds the house that we see in the game's teaser trailer with the skeleton and TV just east of Springvale. Roy Batty has permission from the author to edit both of these mods and he has done so. The nav meshes and other issues have been fixed in the street bus mod and he has combined both of these plugins into a single one to save on our load order space. This was done specifically for the My Way series. Please take the time to still endorse both of these wonderful mods. Select the Street Bus Teaser Trailer Mod link in the video description. Download the mod from the drive and install it manually. Activate the mod in the left pane as usual. That's it. Rivet City Realignment changes the Rivet City interior cells to match their exterior counterparts. This also makes much more sense out of the stairwell signs. Navigate to the official Rivet City Realignment page. Open files. Download the main file. Install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. When siding with Seagrave Homes during this unmarked quest, you will now receive the Railway Rifle Schematics as his computer terminal suggests you should, making your decision much more important as to what to do here. Navigate to the official Council Seat Fix page. Open Files. Download the main file. Install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. Radio Ownership Fix disables the ownership of a few radios throughout the wasteland so that NPCs don't start trying to murder you for turning them on or off. All radios in the game should now be fixed. Navigate to the official Radio Ownership Fix page, open files, download the main file, install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. One tweak for FO3 is a Foes plugin to enable borderless window mode as well as allow you to alt-tab to the desktop and back without crashing. It also fixes a double cursor issue, which is the main reason that I use it. Navigate to the official One Tweak for FO3 page. Open Files. Download the main file. Install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. Just like the title says, Scribe Yearling will now take all pre-war books in exchange for caps. Navigate to the official Scribe Yearling Pre-War Books page. Open Files, download the main file, install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. Another self-explanatory title, No Longer Will Cromwell Confess 24 Hours a Day. Navigate to the official Confessor Cromwell page. Open Files, download the Has a Break EV file. Install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. This mod removes two enemy spawn points so that you don't get attacked by enemies such as Death Claws when turning in fingers later in the game. Navigate to the official Safe Regulator HQ page. Open Files. Download the main file, install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. This mod allows the double-barreled shotgun added by Point Lookout to fire twice, once from each barrel, before having to reload. Navigate to the official Double-Barreled Shotgun Fix page. Open Files, download the V2 file, install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. The Barkskin perk initially granted the player 10% damage resistance and plus 1 to endurance. The final version of the game nerfed this perk to only give you 5% damage resistance. This plugin reverts things back to how they were. Navigate to the official Old Barkskin page. Open Files, download the main file, install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. A simple Gamer Poets mod that reverts Colonel Autumn's laser pistol back to its automatic state. Broken Steel changes the weapon from automatic to a single shot. This plugin undoes those changes by overwriting them with the original settings. No, the animations work just fine for those silly people out there who say otherwise. Navigate to the official denerfing page. Open files, download the main file, install the mod as normal, then activate it in the left pane. This has been a Gamer Poets tutorial, modding Fallout 3 my way, core fixes and stability. I've been getting choked up a lot lately, folks. 
It's great to have friends. The help that the community and that Roy Batty has given me has given us. Each step of the way in this series is overwhelming. There's absolutely no way that this series would be what it is without the help I've received. If you want a highly modded and incredibly stable Fallout 3, this series is truly it. Announcement. Gamer Poets will be creating the official Tale of Two Wastelands video series in the not so far future. Keep an eye out for it. Thank you folks. Thank you everyone. As always, I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you for supporting, and thank you for watching.